hey guys what's up and welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing well today so in today's video i'm going to make this creamy plantain porridge recipe so if you guys would like to see more of how i make this delicious creamy plantain porridge recipe just keep watching so i've got two plantains right there um i'm just taking the skin off the plantains and then i'm going to add it to a cup i'm going to wash it thoroughly to get the residue off so if you guys notice now i'm using um gloves to clean the um the skin off the plantains the reason for that is just to protect my hands from the stain from the plantain. So when you're making this recipe too, you want to make sure you protect your hands from the plantain stain. And I just finished cutting up my first plantain and add it to the cup. Now you want to cut the second plantain up and then put it in the cup as well. And as I mentioned, you want to wash it thoroughly to get the residue off. Okay guys, so right there you just want to add your plantains to the cup as I said and then you're going to, I'm going to go off camera and wash um, the plantains just to clean like I said the residue and you know bacteria and stuff like that that's on it. And you want to do the same when you make this recipe as well. That's what it looks like right here. So now we're going to um, get ready to blend the plantains. So I'm blending the plantains with oats. I'm using dry oats to um blend the plantain as you guys see right there just add water to it you want to add water to the to the um, cup mix I'm blending half cup of the plantain and half of the, the dry oats because my smoothie cup is a bit smaller so that's the reason for that I just went ahead and add that in now you want to blend everything together you want to blend it until it's nice and smooth you know has like a nice smooth texture in the meantime you want to get your pot ready add some water to it make sure that water is boiling hot <laughs> and um yes so once the water is hot we're going to go ahead and add some cinnamon stick inside i'm going to also add some cinnamon and you want to boil this for 10 minutes guys you want to boil that to get a nice cinnamon cinnamon stick flavor now you want to take your, your whisk and just like mix it around a little bit so everything can dilute and once you boil for 10 minutes it boil up you then you go and put your oats and plantain inside of the pot continue to mix right here guys continue to mix right here don't start mixing for the next 10 minutes the reason for that is because we're trying to prevent the lumps from forming in of the plantain inside of the plantain porridge so it's best to use the whisk which I'm using right there. I don't like to use a spoon for that reason because lumps all, each time I make it and use a spoon to mix it, always have a lot of lumps in there and it's not, it's not so tasty eating it like that. So just continue to mix here for 10 minutes like I said, just mix, 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 make sure it's nice and smooth, you know. That's what we want nice and smooth then you're gonna add either condensed milk or evaporated milk in your um, planting porridge so I'm using evaporated milk next I'm going to add some sea salt just a splash of sea salt to give it some taste adjust um, you know adjust your sugar adjust your sea your salt your sea salt or regular salt whichever you're using to your taste bud so like I said you can use evaporated milk or condensed milk I chose to use evaporated milk and that's what it looks like as you guys can see it's nice and creamy i just add some cane sugar to it if you're using cane sugar that's good as well if regular sugar no problem same you know it's going to get give you the same results but just adjust it to your taste bud okay um just continue to mix right here now for five minutes you're going to boil this right now see that it's boiled now five minutes just continue to let it boil out nice and then this is would be the final result i just went ahead and garnished with some cinnamon it smelled amazing look at that guys nice and creamy and the smell is really really good i love the smell of this i really did enjoy making this recipe i hope you enjoy watching this recipe as well i hope to see you guys in the next video thank you for stopping by take care